what's up guys welcome back to another video welcome back welcome back uh this is the third boss this is lich um this one actually wasn't too hard i actually recommend that you guys try to do this one first if you could <laughs> this was one of the easier bosses i'm um, starting out this is sage gameplay uh straight up don't even focus on the enemies uh when he uses earthquake I usually try to dodge the first one, absorb the last two, because that's about as much as your gauge can take. Now, when he does any type of casting, you have to be careful because he's always dual casting, right? That's what makes him dangerous. It's probably in this first phase is the dual casting of the spells. See how he uses flames and then he uses ice dust. You can absorb the ice, but I recommend you dodge it because it's a little bit, it's too, it's too many hits. In case you accidentally run into one of the fail flames, you could do it if necessary, but I wouldn't make it like the main thing you try to do. I wouldn't try to absorb all the ice. I dodge a little bit of it and then maybe absorb like the last two. Yeah, as you can see, I did it, <laughs> but I, I wouldn't count on that. I would not count on that. Uh, whenever I absorb the curse, I usually save it for the zombies so that my allies can take out the zombies a little bit faster. Because once you hit them with the curse, their break gauge uh, significantly drops and they can take advantage of it, make quick work of it while you get to focus on the boss. So I'm dodging the first one, trying to absorb the last two when it comes to Earthquake. Dual cast, watch out for the flames, I absorb one of the last ice. When he throws curse, if there's no zombies, I'll throw it back at him. Oh, flare. Flare is you absorb at the last second. What? I don't... Oh, probably because I absorbed the curses. And then he used flare right after. I didn't have enough gauge to actually absorb the flare. But you want to absorb the flare at the last second. That was a nasty little uh, trick he did there. Use curse first and flare right after. So I didn't have time to recover. Like I said, I usually say the curse for the zombies. If there's no zombies, just throw it back at them. It's fine. Like I said, him dual casting is probably the hardest part of this. Um, I try to stick to holy magic uh, throughout this entire fight. You'll see me use it over the other spells. I mean, I definitely took the time to make sure I had Ultima during this fight. But... Uh, my primary focus was to get as much holy damage out as I possibly could. Got it that time. Boom. He does so many attacks that it's hard for you to lose all of your MP. You shouldn't really be like bottomed out on MP too often. He gives you a lot to work with. That's why I say he's probably one of the easier bosses that I've done. And... It, it's working out great I probably would do him first if like I had a like if there's a new game plus in this game somewhere I probably would fight him first and get the armor for it and then go back and fight the other two or actually I think there's one more after this okay he's entering the second phase the only thing you have to watch out for is terrifying embrace that's the only uh, unblockable that he adds into the fight he also gets a lot more physical, he doesn't cast spells as much, he tries to run you down more so that he can grab you. So you have to be a little more careful of that, see, yeah, like that. He tries to run you down a lot more. Dude, trying to get some damage off on him. I noticed my spell casting was a little slow, I was like, why? Because <laughs> my command wasn't on and I used Ultima. So it takes away all my casting speed once I use Ultima. If you guys didn't know, when you do use Ultima, I mean, if you if you just hold on to it, it increases your casting speed. Pro tip. Like I said, he's so weak to uh, he's so weak to Holy that I'm just taking full advantage of it. I try to absorb uh, the strikes. I usually wait for like his third and then he possibly might throw a fourth one when he's running you down. 
that was weird that those curses went behind me. But that's pretty much it. That's it. There's that fourth one I was talking about. And that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Another balls down. Happy to help you guys on your journey. Peace.